So welcome to the next exciting instalment of Ed's blog from the bog. Uh, it's Thursday the 26th of March, just after half past 10 in the morning. Uh, it's the day where the Chancellor Rishi Sunak is going to be releasing some more uh, detail about the uh, proposed assistance to self-employed and freelancers um, and subject to what he says, we'll deal with that in the blog tomorrow. What I want to talk about today is the job retention scheme um, and that's the scheme where the government is going to pay um, 80 percent of take-home salaries to uh, what they're calling furloughed employees. There is going to be a financial cap on that of £2,500 per month so if 80% would be more than £2,500, you're simply going to get £2,500. Um, to be a furloughed worker, you have to have been sent home by your employer because they basically haven't got any work for you to do. Um, and to qualify for the scheme, uh, you have to not be working for your employer. So if you reduce your hours, take a pay cut or anything like that to try and help out at this time, you're not going to qualify. You literally have to be at home, not working. The scheme is intended to um, prevent employers or to discourage employers from just laying off staff wholesale. Um, and uh, the way it will work is that employers will apply to HM Revenue and Customs um, and they'll claim uh, effectively a grant uh, for 80% of the uh, employee's take home salary. The difficulties are that we don't know how you go around applying yet. All we know is you've got to apply to HM Revenue and Customs. Uh, the HMRC website hasn't yet been updated, so we don't know the procedural stuff. Um, all we know is the, the general policy. We also don't know um, when the money is likely to be paid. And there's also, because the, the scheme was calculated as of the PAYE run on the 29th of February this year, uh, we don't know what happens about staff, for example, who started after the 29th of February, 1st of March or afterwards, who would usually be paid this month. Um, and we similarly don't know what's going to happen about um, staff on, for example, zero hours contracts. Uh, the policy appears to be that the government wants to help the broadest range of people possible, um, which generally you would think would include zero hours. But again, until that detail is um, available, we simply don't know. So if you're an employer, the first thing you need to do is to write um, uh, a formal letter to your employees, uh, basically confirming that they are furloughed for this purpose um, and to make sure that they're not doing any work for you from home, reduced hours um, on a pay cut or anything like that. Um, it's advisable to get your uh, employees to sign a copy of that letter because it may be a variation to their contract. Um, I think it's highly unlikely that anyone receiving the assistance at this time will bring an employment tribunal claim for deductions of wages and stuff. Um, but uh, it's, it's also unlikely that there will be a provision in the contract covering furlough. Um, it seems to be a fairly you know, new concept to most people. Um, so get the employer to sign an acknowledgement. Um, if you want uh, a stand letter to send, uh, we have that. So just message me uh, on the Facebook group, send me an email. Um, ed at eloyer.services and we'll just um, uh, send that letter out to you. So as and when further detail becomes available, obviously I'll let you know. Um, in the meantime, um, have a good day, stay safe and uh, I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow.